Hi guys, welcome back to Herky the Cavalier's channel. Today we're talking about Milton. Sniffies, Milton. What you sniffing? I'm going to rewind a bit and let's talk about when Milton had a weird mask growing on her ear. Do you guys remember that? I don't even remember which ear it was on, but I'm going to insert some photos. I'm going to insert the video where we go over the consultation and the surgery. And that mask ended up being benign. It was some sort of skin growth. I don't remember the technical terms. I'm going to look over my emails to see if we can get like an actual term of what that was. Turns out it was benign. Within a few months, Milton fractured her tooth during her consultation for the tooth extraction. We discovered that Milton had a heart murmur. So before doing the tooth surgery, we had to get a cardiology appointment to see if she was eligible for teeth surgery. So Milton has been through a lot this past year. All this was spring of 2023. And ever since then, everything was pretty normal with her. We do have an upcoming cardiology appointment with her in the spring to see how things are going. But in the meantime, we did put her on coenzyme Q10 supplements to manage her little heart and we are just more mindful of her tiredness signs when we go on walks. Since then we did discover a few new skin tags on her and my concern is this new one that I found on her because I found two masses specifically. There's one on her ear and I'm going to insert a picture of it. I am documenting the size and the location of her masses now just to see how they grow and how they develop. So she has a new little one on her ear, which I'm not too worried about. But then yesterday when I was touching her, I saw this weird looking one on her elbow. Like it's the weirdest thing. Like it's among on all her feathering on her, on her legs and it's right on her elbow. It is so weird. What's really weird about it is that it's really pointy. The shape is really odd, but it just feels like skin. When I posted on Instagram, a lot of people answered just to say that it was benign skin tags and that cavaliers are prone to skin tags. This comes as a surprise to me because Herky has zero skin tags. She has super smooth skin. She has no bumps whatsoever, but Milton's just seems to be more prone to little bumps and skin tags. So I did take a picture of that and I will keep an eye on the location, the growth and how it develops. But I really don't want to put her under and have these little things removed just because she is a cardiac patient at this point. She does have a heart murmur, so I want to avoid putting her under for little elective surgeries like this. It is really interesting to see that even having Cavaliers for 10 years at this point, there are still some things that I discover all the time that I learn things about. So it is very normal for every dog parent to feel like they're on their toes every time and that there are new situations that arise all the time. I am a first time dog owner, so I am learning along the way. Perhaps in 20, 30 years when I'm more used to having dogs, I will have seen everything under the rain regarding dogs and Cavaliers. For example, Herky was a complete different experience health-wise and dog-wise than Milton. Herky's health was really good overall. We haven't had a lot of concerns with her, but it seems like Milton is developing a, a lot more things than Herky. You know, you always hear that dogs with long floppy ears will get ear infections, but Herky at her age turning 10 soon has never even gotten an ear infection. Isn't that crazy? I don't even think I'm that good at keeping their ears clean. I clean their ears about once every two, three weeks, although I should do it a bit more, but Herky's ears are really good and she's never had an ear infection. On the other hand, Milton last year, one, one and a half year ago, she did also have a bilateral ear infection. So this girl has been through a lot lately. So this is just a reminder to keep a close eye on your dog, pet them often because you will know if something is off, if there's little growths here and there, and you will be able to notice if something is off with their health. If you have any experience with these little skin tag type situations, leave a comment below and we can have a little conversation about skin tags. How weird does that sound? So this is going to be it, a really short and sweet video. Sorry, Milton, are you uncomfortable? So this is going to be it for our video today. Hope you enjoyed it. We love you and we'll see you soon. Bye.